Never know who you're talking to online. And this evening, New Haven police are warning you about crimes involving dating apps and internet buys. You see, say it's Amy Budak is live <laughs> at the New Haven Police Department tonight to explain what's been happening. Amy. Police say they've seen at least seven or eight of these crimes related to online dating and internet purchases in the last month alone, and that includes a couple this week as well. These are something that police say do not discriminate. It runs the gamut with all of the popular dating websites, especially those that are the most popular because most people are on them. Police say most of the victims don't report these crimes because they're just too embarrassed that perhaps they're online dating or they're on these sites and maybe shouldn't be. New Haven police say the victims have been beaten, they've been robbed, or even have had cars stolen. Crimes related to online dating and internet purchases are not new and they're not isolated to New Haven. But police say they do appear to be on the rise. But we're now seeing more and more people we feel being set up for crimes to be victimized by people who purport themselves to be available for a date. Uh, you know, there are, there's certainly something to be said about the traditional methods of romance and, and courting someone. And uh, nowadays it is a click and a swipe and, and you think you're in. The apps themselves are not suspect. Uh, that needs to be clear. Police are urging people tonight if you are using an online dating website and you want to meet somebody, do so for the first time in a public place. And if you're making an internet purchase, they say there's a pretty simple fix for making sure that you stay safe. They've put up signs that say safe meetup spot. These are at a lot of the local police departments. They are also, um, uh, there's surveillance video as well, so you can make sure that you're safe. And if anything happens, you're right here and you can report it to police immediately. Live in New Haven, Amy Hudak, News 8.